Okay, in this video, we are gonna go ahead and set up the order service. So you can see on the screen here on line 72, I have the order service definition from the Docker Compose file. And the key takeaway here is that we wanna be exposing port 8081, and we have six environment properties set up, uh, very similar to the other two services, except on line 86, we are setting the beer service host. So just a, a slight divergence there. And again, the beer service, we are setting the host name equal to service names, and that is our, how we will resolve that service. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna come over to the uh, command line and start setting this up. So we use cube control to go ahead and create the initial uh, YAML file. So we're gonna go ahead and create a deployment. And this is gonna be for order service. And it's gonna come from the image spring framework guru slash KBE brewery dash order service. We are gonna do drive run client, use YAML output. And we will direct that to order service deployment. And I got a mistake there. Yep. Need uh, double dashes there. That should do it. Okay. Now let's come back over to IntelliJ and we'll go ahead and edit that. You see, this is the file that we created through cube control. And what we need to do is set up these environment properties here, these six properties. I'm gonna pause the video while I do that, and then we'll come back and do a code review. Okay, I've resumed the uh, recording, and you can see on line 24, I added in the clause for the environment. So we have the environment, and then six name value pairs, setting up the environment properties to, uh, to configure the Spring Boot microservice. Key points being that we are setting up the host to MySQL for the MySQL database. Uh, JMS for the JMS broker, and then also the, the beer service host uh, is running on port 8080 at the host of beer-service in a Kubernetes context. So let's toggle back over to the command line now. And what we want to do is apply that file, order service deployment, and that is going to create the uh, pod in the background for us. And now we want to actually create the service definition. Cluster IP, it's going to be order service. And in this case, we're going to do 8081. Dry run equals client minus O equals YAML for YAML output. So I'm going to redirect that output to a file called order service. And then we can do cube control apply minus F. Order service YAML. See that is created. And if I do a Docker PS, we can see the various containers running in a Docker context on the host. And then if we do, we can do get all to see the uh, environment being set up here. So I've got to scroll a little bit now. You can see that we have beer service, failover service, inventory service, JMS. MySQL, and then finally order service. And then uh, those are the pods running, those are the uh, Docker containers. And then also we have the services running, and we can see we've got what, about six, seven of them now. So right now we have our uh, core services, so the JMS and MySQL running, as well as the four Spring Boot uh, microservices are up in our environment. And uh, Kubernetes is running all these applications for us. So let's toggle over to IntelliJ and just do a quick review of what we did. So I added the file, I created the uh, order service deployment using the command line, cube control from the command line. And then we had to edit the file to add in the six environment properties. And then the order service, uh, we did not have to edit this file. Uh, we did create that purely from the command line. And then we did the apply command to apply that to our Kubernetes environment. 